it's been a minute, but I'm back now with YouTube videos. I'm not going to bore you for a couple of minutes saying where have I been, what have I been doing. I have been streaming, but that's all I'm going to say. All right, so relax, chill out. I'm back now. And we've got 10 footballers today saying farewell to their respective teams. Players maybe running out of contract. Players maybe just retiring. Not necessarily a transfer video. This is not a transfer video, but they are on the way too. So stay tuned. Let's get into the 10 footballers saying farewell at the end of the season. So moving into the first player that's going to be saying goodbye to his team. We've got an emotional Diego Godin. He's actually confirmed today. That's right, today. This pretty up-to-date video. He's going to be leaving Atletico Madrid a year after rejecting Manchester United. The legendary defender failed to agree a new deal with the La Liga club and is widely expected to join the Serie A side Inter Milan this summer. So if you want to see a transfer video coming up very shortly, do not forget to drop a like on the video. That would be much appreciated. My target for my first video back would be 1,000 likes. I know you lot can do it. Um, I've, I'm, I'm massively grateful for the support you've been showing so far. So thank you very much. If you could also take a second to like my Facebook page, that would be much appreciated. I'm streaming every single day over there FIFA, so come over there, watch me when you're not watching my videos, that would be great. Diego Godin has confirmed he will leave Atletico Madrid at the end of the season. The club captain was fighting back tears at a press conference in the Spanish capital where he revealed his decision to call time on his near decade stay at Atletico Madrid. Godin joined Atletico in 2010, he's won the Liga as well as two Europa League titles with the, obviously, Liga side. So, obviously, speculations now started to happen of which club is he going to go to next. It's rumoured to be Inter Milan, that's the favourite. Obviously, he turned down Man United a year ago. Could that happen again? Could that come back? We'll have to wait and see. Moving into the second player of the episode, we've got Aaron Ramsey, one that's been pretty well publicised throughout the last few weeks. The Welsh player has obviously played his last remaining game for Arsenal. He bidded farewell the other day. Got very emotional, did an interview after the game. And yeah, it was obviously pretty upsetting considering he's spent, you know, 10 years at the club. Aaron Ramsey was given an emotional send-off by Arsenal before his decision to move to Juventus. Ramsey would join the Italian Giants on a free transfer this summer after 11 years with the Gunners. So like I say, that's another one for a transfer episode if you want to see that. Ramsey broke down in tears as he received a guard of honour from his teammates on the pitch. The 28-year-old who joined from Cardiff back in 2008 won three FA Cups during his time at Emirates, scoring the winning goal in both for the 2014 final against Hull and the 2017 final against Chelsea. The Welsh international, like I said, has already played his last game for the club after he was ruled out for the rest of the campaign with a muscular injury suffered during the Europa League quarterfinal match against Napoli last month. He went on to say, it's been a pretty emotional day. It's 11 years of my life that I've spent here and so much has happened to me on and off the field. I've really grown up here and I'm grateful for the opportunity to play for this club for such a long time. I've met so many great people here and made great friends and Arsene Wenger bringing me to the club and giving me the opportunity was pretty special. Whilst I'm on the topic of Arsenal, we may as well move into the third player. Actually, Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck is also on the way out of Arsenal. The ex-Manchester United player is out of contract at the end of the summer and at the end of this season, of course. And it's looking like they are not well. It's already been confirmed. And they're not going to be offering him a new contract. The announcement was made following his side's one-all draw with Brighton, after which the striker, who cost £16 million to Man United, was presented with the memento on the pitch. Unai Emery said, I've talked to the club and the decision is he's leaving. Walbeck did become a bit of a popular player after joining from Manchester United for 16 million in 2014. In his first season at the North London club, he scored a memorable winning goal against United in the FA Cup quarter-final at Old Trafford. He then went on to lift the trophy with Arsenal in 2017. However, misfortune with injuries became a reoccurring problem for him and obviously made it very hard for him to get back into the team. So that's another player who is also leaving Arsenal. Now, I may as well go on here and actually discuss another Arsenal player saying farewell. This is not the Arsenal episode. They just seem to be having a right, sh you know, mess around and getting rid of players like Petr Cech. He's the next one to be leaving Arsenal. Petr Cech has also said farewell to supporters after the game. So obviously this guy is, a, you know, a massively recognised, you know, professional with football. Obviously, he's spent most of his time at Chelsea before moving to Arsenal. He's also lifted an FA Cup in his time up with Arsenal, of course. Now, the Gunners have come out and announced that he won't be getting a new contract and he will be saying farewell at the end of the season. Not as emotional, probably, as Aaron Ramsey and obviously Danny Welbeck. I know Danny Welbeck's not that emotional, but Aaron Ramsey one certainly is. So that was the fourth player of this episode. Three Arsenal ones. Let's, let's move away from Arsenal. Moving into the fifth player, then we actually have Gary Cahill. And Gary Cahill has had a pretty decent career at Chelsea as well. There's another one, obviously, that's won 
won a lot of stuff and is obviously an ex-England international as well. The Chelsea captain bid an emotional farewell to Stamford Bridge on Sunday after making a token substitute appearance and is available now as a free transfer. Still only 33 years of age, he is determined to prove he can remain at the top flight despite coach Sari shunning him for a large part of the season and has used his side, uh, uh, used his time on the sideline to maintain his fitness. Now there are a few clubs interested in Cahill of course and now we're looking at Burnley. Burnley's one of the favourites to be signing him but like I say this is not a transfer episode if you want to see that don't forget to drop a like on the video down below that'd be much appreciated. A thousand likes would be absolutely insane. Gary Cahill, Lee and Chelsea, another player bidding farewell to a club he's been at for years. For the sixth spot then, we've got Xavi. Now, Xavi is actually saying farewell to football, I believe. He's actually officially retiring. Obviously, if you guys are unaware, he's been playing in the Middle East since leaving Barcelona. Recently announcing his retirement end of the season ahead of him moving into coaching, Xavi is still has a long way to go before he'll be ready to lead the elite, according to experts. So that's right, he's going to go into coaching, he's going to go into management, but he's got a little bit of a long way to go yet. Yeah, he's been recently just finished his playing career in the Middle East, so football is saying, you know, a playing farewell to obviously Xavi, but he's going to remain in football like most footballers do, and I'm sure we're going to see him in the coaching or in the management side of things very shortly. Could we see a reunion with Pep Guardiola? Could this guy come to Man City and be involved in the coaching staff there? Could he return to Barcelona? There's many factors here involved, but, you know, he's hung up his boots, but, you know, he's not leaving football. That was the fifth player. Or the sixth, actually. He's mad. So, we have got the next one of Antonio Valencia, who's officially leaving Manchester United after, like, 10 years at the club as well. Now, Manchester United supporters have actually come out and said they would love to see Antonio Valencia make a final appearance for the club before his 10-year Old Trafford career comes to an end as the season concludes. Valencia, who has won two Premier League titles and the FA Cup, two Bar Carabao Cups and the Europa League since signing for United from Wigan back in the summer of 2009. He's set to leave the club at the end of the season after... After United passed up the option to sign him for an extra year. So that's right, this decision was down to Manchester United. They decided they were not going to extend this contract by another year, which they could have easily done. It was in his previous contract that the option for an extended year was there, but they've decided not to do it. Unfortunately, Valencia has been hampered with injury problems, and obviously that's made him lose his place at the club. Um, but he actually does remain the club captain, which is quite interesting there. So United are losing their club captain. So obviously he's very sad, and it's been a very emotional farewell for him as obviously a player that served Manchester United for like 10 years and he's been he's, he's been there for a lot of success as well even in the Fergie era it's one of the last remaining players probably from the Fergie era that's won Premier League titles to remain in the team obviously there's a few still there but this guy was you know pretty big part of it when he signed so moving into number oh I don't even know what I'm on eight or nine it's all a bit mad we've got Andrea Barzagli he's called time on his mental 20-year career as he confirms plans to walk away from football at the end of the season Juventus defender Andrea Barzagli has announced he'll retire from football at the end of the season. The Italian is approaching his 38th birthday and has decided to call time on a decorated 20-year career. He's actually spent the past eight years in Turin and has helped the club re-establish their dominance over Italian football. No one knows what he's going to do just yet, whether it be coaching, management or any punditry in Italy or something like that. But what we do know is he's officially hung up his boots. We wish him all the best, obviously. He's been a great player over the last decade or so. Well, a couple of decades, apparently. But this is a legendary player who's officially moving on from the world of playing football. That's a massive farewell. F football's missing a good player there. Last but not least, we've got Frank Ribery. Now, this is the final farewell of the episode. Don't forget, if you want to see another farewell episode or a transfer video, you can drop a like or a comment down below stating which one you'd rather have. Frank Ribery will leave Bayern Munich in the summer with no plans yet for next season. Bayern Munich winger Frank Frank Ribery will leave the club when his contract actually expires very soon. The 36-year-old Frenchman joined Bayern Munich for 17 million from Marseille back in June 2007. So that's like 12 years. Ribery has won the Bundesliga eight times with Bayern Munich and is set to add another title to his collection this season with the club four points ahead of second place Borussia Dortmund going into the final two games of the season. And then obviously they'll play in the final, okay, of the German Cup as well, which is going to be another potential bit of silverware for him. Ribery come out and said, I don't have concrete plans for next season yet. I'm not sure where I can go to play football. I'll keep playing, but nothing is 100% certain yet. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. They are 10 players saying farewell to their football clubs at the end of this season. Some, you know, massively emotional players here that are going to be moving on. Some players in football that have done a lot and they've won nearly everything. So it's going to be sad to see the back of them. Moving into the next video now, which will be probably in two days. I'm going to start uploading every two days and then maybe if we get to, we get a nice bit of momentum, we're going to upload, start uploading every day again. If you want to see another transfer, 
chance of video or maybe a farewell video. I've got 10 more players I could do. You know, there's a lot of research goes into these, but we, I've got 10 more players I can do for you. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Turn the notifications on. Do all that good stuff. I'll see you in the front of a video. Thank you for your ongoing support. Take it easy. Peace. A little stronger.